What's up everyone? Drew Snipes here at Beers and Gears and on today's episode we're going to do a review and demo of this really awesome pedal. This is the Azor Horse Overdrive FX pedal. Model number is AP504. Uh, even, even though it's called Horse it actually has a unicorn on the front of it which is kind of cool for me because I have a little sister who's autistic and everything in her life is unicorn. She loves them to death. Any present you want to get her is a unicorn. So I made a joke to her one day that I was going to have a unicorn pedal on my pedal board. And sure enough, they make one. Super excited for this. So let's get to the unboxing and hear what kind of sounds we can get out of this. But first, the signal chain. We're going to be running the Ibanez RGR 320SP. Going into the pedal, into the clean channel of the Randall RX120RH. Going into the matching cab and the RG8 to the right of the camera. Here is the clean channel. So let's unbox this thing. You see the Azor logo, effect pedal. The Horse Overdrive AP504, made in China. Let's open this up. Comes with your standard mini pedal book. Product list, which I think is really cool. I kinda like the whole animal thing that they're going with. Definitely have to check some more out. With this, I also bought the the monkey. I bought the monkey, so that'll be in a later video where we'll do a review on that one. Let's get to this to the side, get to the pedal. Comes in the plastic bag, pretty standard. It's a little bigger than the mini pedals you get off of Amazon. Just to compare, this is the Stax OD2, so a little bigger, a little heavier. Powers on the front, on the top, input, output, nice little pedal. Let's hook this thing up, get, make some sounds. Alright, so here it is all hooked up. Three knobs on the pedal, simple and easy. You got a drive, a honey, and a volume. Which, let me just see, this looks like a sticker. Let's take that off. That's well, tone. That's interesting. Let's see what it does. <laughs> tone, honey, and volume. Hopefully, there's a drive in there somewhere. Let's we'll start with everything at 12 o'clock. This is the Overdrive Horse by Azor. the honey on some pedals a lot of pedals from china something's not right about this one so turn the honey all the way up you get nothing turn the honey all the way down Turn your 
tone, which had a drive sticker on it, all the way up. And put it back to 12, and I don't hear a difference. But you turn tone all the way down. So I'm kind of thinking, maybe the volume's the drive? So let's turn this down and this up. Switch over to the drive channel on the Randall. Turn it on, everything back at 12 o'clock. Final thoughts. Uh, that's a little weird for me. Um, I don't know if I got a bad pedal or like a bad production of it, but the sticker was kind of weird for me. I don't know if that tone is a drive or what, because I think from noon to max, it didn't really change much in the sound. Honey, it's kind of weird because it felt like it was on backwards. Like you turn the honey down and you get more tone, more like low end thump. And by itself, it was kind of mediocre. I wasn't really feeling it. But it saved itself with the overdrive channel on the Randall. That really sounded awesome. I mean, everything at 12, even when you crank the tone, drive, whatever it is, up to 3 o'clock and turn the honey down to 9 o'clock uh, to thicken it up. That was really awesome. That was a good sound. So confused by this one. Azor, if you're watching, what's up with that? For you out there, thank you so much for watching. This has been Drew Snipes, Gears and Gears. This is the Azor horse. See you guys in the next one. Drew Snipes, Gears and Gears. See ya.